What's up everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Vince and today I am super fired up because we're gonna be taking a look at Bosch's, is that how you would say that? Bosch's new nail strike drill bits. If you've used Bosch's traditional line or their daredevil line of paddle bits or spade bits or whatever you call them, self-feeding, you'll know that they are really fast drilling, fast cutting drill bits. The problem is, is if you ever hit any metal with these drill bits, you'll know they go dull unbelievably quick. I mean, that thing's toast. So, when we were introduced to this product a few weeks back, I said I have to get some of my own before I'll actually believe it. Nail cutting wood bits. So these are a fast cutting wood bit. And the funny part is, I wonder, will they cut through screws? It's product number NS5006, in case you wanted a set of your own. This is six bits. And I will say, I picked these up at Lowe's Home Improvement. And for these six bits that are half inch, five eighths, three quarters, seven eighths, one inch, and inch and a quarter, you're gonna pay a premium for these. These are about $36 plus tax. So keep that in mind. You can get 12, 15 of their standard daredevil bits. Sometimes you get them on special for 15 bucks, 20 bucks. It all depends. You have to ask yourself, do you buy their standard self-feeding daredevil bits and, and just be more mindful of what you're drilling into? Uh, I, I don't know. If you have no choice and you needed to cut through you know, a top plate or something of that nature and you couldn't avoid the nails, you know, if you're a plumber or electrician, you know, pl plumbers and electricians, they don't, they don't care about the framer or, or anybody that comes in, in before them or after them. They're like, oh, what's this piece of wood here? What's this, what's this beam? Well, my pipe's got to run through there. I don't want to cut that beam out of there, right? It doesn't, that doesn't matter. It says 45% savings because you're getting a bonus folding case. Pretty cool. You'll see it's six pieces. These are impact rated. Now, the rating, which is fun, it's kind of... Vod, if you ask me. It says maximum no load speed is 1500 RPMs. No load. So can you exceed 1500 RPMs if you're under load? I, I just don't, I don't know what that means exactly. Use drill with side handle. Start drilling at low RPM, hold firmly, and keep bit tip in contact with work. To avoid bit bowing, apply pressure only in the direct line with bit. Do not apply excessive pressure. Bits can bind, causing breakage or loss of control. Do not use in hammer drills or in a drill press. So here's the deal. You could probably use it in a hammer drill if you turned off the hammer function. So I, I kind of wanted to bring out the comparable sizes. For instance, this half inch bit, if we compare it to a standard daredevil, that shank is somewhat fatter. The cutting surface is, is thicker. You can see it. That inch and a quarter all through this, this shank has been beefed up mega compared to a standard daredevil. The cutting surface is, is much wider. You could see that when you use the standard daredevil, it helps to really cut that hole and you get a, what seems to be minimal tear out. Let's, let's cut a comparable hole, half inch, using the nail strike, and let's just see what kind of results we get compared to the standard. Not bad. I will say this. It seemed like it pulled up the wood right here. Okay, that's, that's fierce. I mean, it does a, the Makita does an unbelievable job. Let's cut the same size hole with the nail strike. And that was fast cutting as well. 
I feel like we got a little bit more tear out. I will say that. Let's go at it a little slower. It's not bad for a self-feeding paddle bit. But the real test would be to strike a nail. Okay, so Nick feels that I might have destroyed this inch and a quarter nail strike bit in error because we didn't strike a nail. We struck a screw. And we talked about that earlier. Sometimes screws can be harder, more brittle, but harder than a nail. So what we're going to do is we're going to try it again. And this time we're going to try drilling through galvanized framing nails. We didn't start the fire, it was always burning since the world been turned. All right, so here's the deal. We tried this two times, okay, with the one inch and the inch and a quarter in an impact driver. Maybe the RPM is too high on this Makita impact driver. So what we've decided to do is we're going to go three times. This time we're going to use our seven eighths bit in our Milwaukee hammer drill. We have our side handle. We're going to be in speed one. All right, when we clear out this hole, we can see we just cut the side of that nail. Let's see what's going on here with that. So it literally, that time, sheared off that nail. I mean, you know, obviously that's, that's a quarter inch Spax lag. So yes, these nail strike bits are impact ready. But if you anticipate hitting nails, I would suggest running in a drill driver in low speed. You'll get through nails, okay? I don't suggest running through screws, but quite frankly, this isn't necessarily a screw, this is a lag. Maybe we should try a screw. We're gonna run the three quarter inch bit. We're gonna to try to get through this number 10 Spax fastener. Okay, so what have we learned? What are all the takeaways? Number one, nail strike means nail strike. Nail strike doesn't mean lag strike. Nail strike doesn't mean screw strike. Nail strike means nail strike. Number two, if you want to cut through a nail and a nail only, even though these bits are impact ready, you're going to want to use a high torque drill driver with a handle in place. This way, if you get any kickback, you're holding on tight. And number three, if you wanted to use these with an impact driver, you probably should make sure that you're only drilling through wood. So that's what we've learned today. And if you like coming to a tool review channel and learning something every day, then smash the like button. Also, if you're not already, make sure you're getting subscribed and tapping the bell. Why do you want to tap the bell? Because when we find out about new products, if you have the bell tapped, you'll find out about new products. With that, I want to say I appreciate every single one of you being here. Thanks a lot, everybody. We'll see you all on the next one. Yo, if they had questions about... Now you know. Video's over, but I know you want more. So this is how you're going to get it. First thing you need to do is pretend you're this guy. And you're here at the birthplace of freedom. Now ring that bell like it's 1776 and let all notifications through. What? You're not subscribed yet. Smash this button here. After that, 
watch this video here, here, and maybe over here. See you later.